Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Q3 and 9M FY23 earnings conference call of India Pesticides Limited, hosted by Dollar Capital. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode, and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchdown phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Tejas Sunavne from Dalat Capital. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you, Aman. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Dalat Capital, I would like to thank the management of India Pesticides Limited for giving us the opportunity to host their Q3 FY23 earnings call. From the management team, we have with us today Mr. D.K. Jain, Chief Executive Officer, and Mr. S.P. Gupta, Chief Financial Officer. Without further ado, I would like to hand over the call to the management for their opening remarks, post which we will open the forum for a Q&A session. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you, Tejas Ji. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy. I take the pleasure of welcoming you all for the Q3 FY23 Earning Conference Call of India Pesticides Limited. I hope you all had a chance to look at the financial statements and earnings presentation uploaded on the exchanges and our website. Despite the inflationary pressure, our margin saw an improvement on Q1 Q basis due to improved operational efficiency and cost pass through. The company performed well with a 16.1% YOY revenue growth driven by higher demand for existing products and new molecules. High cost raw material inventory and high fuel prices have been a challenge during this period also. Our R&D capabilities, including the ability to create substitute chemicals and decrease reliance on imports, are critical components of our strategy. All of our recently launched products were well received by market and we expect their demand to grow going forward. Further to this, our planned 70 crore capex for expansion at Sandila plant in FI23 is on schedule. We are happy to announce that the Ministry of Environment and Forests has granted us environmental clearance for our Hamirpur project under our wholly owned subsidiary shall be specialties. We anticipate starting operations during the fiscal year 23-24. Our export component increased to 68% from 49% in Q2 FI23. The increase has been driven by the company's focus on expanding the global reach and building strong relationship with international customers and expanding customer base. The company's strengthening of R&D has also played a crucial role in its export growth. India Pesticide Limited has been consistently developing new products that cater to the ever-evolving demands of the global market, and its innovative products have been well received by international customers. As informed to stock exchanges last month, we have recently commissioned a plant for a herbicide with good export potential. During the quarter, our long-term credit facilities were reconfirmed by Care Ratings Limited at A+, which highlights our ability to manage capital efficiently. IPL continues to overcome challenges and emerge stronger despite uncertainty in the business environment. We are eager to roll out new product in the coming quarters to improve product mix and reach consumers. We assure our shareholders that we are committed to working towards our vision of supporting chemical business and farmers across the globe by producing superior value chemicals through quality and efficiency. India is now a relatively stable economic heaven with strong domestic demand and growing competitiveness in exporting quality goods and services. IPL is poised for success with its skilled manufacturing and competitive edge. With this, I would like to pass on to Mr. S.P. Gupta to walk us through our Q3 FI23 financial highlights. Mr. Gupta. Thank you, sir. 
गुड आफ्टरनून लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एम थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग द इंडिया पेस्टसाइट कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल टू डिस्कस क्यू थ्री फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री रिजल्ट आई विल क्विकली गो थ्रू अवर फाइनेंशियल परफॉर्मेंस टेकिंग यू थ्रू द फाइनेंशियल हाईलाइट द टोटल रेवन्यू स्टूड एट टू ट्वेंटी टू करोड़ एज अगेंस्ट वन नाइन्टी वन करोड़ इन क्यू थ्री फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू दैट इज बाई ओ बाई ग्रोथ ऑफ सिक्सटीन परसेंट द ग्रोथ हैज बीन ड्रिवेन बाई द ग्रोथ इन इंटरनेशनल मार्केट एबिटा इन क्यू थ्री फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री स्टैंड एट फिफ्टी वन करोड़ विद एबिटा मार्जिन ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट द पैट स्टूड एट थर्टी फाइव करोड़ इन दिस क्वार्टर एज कंपेयर टू फोर्टी थ्री करोड़ इन क्यू थ्री फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू पैट मार्जिन इज फिफ्टीन सेवन परसेंट इन क्यू थ्री फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री द रेवन्यू फ्रॉम एक्सपोर्ट स्टूड एट वन फोर्टी एट करोड़ एज कंपेयर टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन करोड़ इन क्यू थ्री फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू एंड डोमेस्टिक रेवन्यू स्टूड एट सिक्सटी नाइन करोड़ एज कंपेयर टू एट्टी वन करोड़ इन क्यू थ्री लास्ट ईयर रेवन्यू फ्रॉम टेक्निकल्स एंड फार्मुलेशन स्टूड एट वन एट्टी फोर करोड़ एंड थर्टी फोर करोड़ रिस्पेक्टिवली ड्यूरिंग दिस क्वार्टर इंडिया पेस्टिसाइड लिमिटेड हैज स्ट्रॉन्ग बैलेंस शीट विद एबिलिटी टू जनरेट गुड फ्री कैश फ्लो द कंपनी इज प्लानिंग टू फ्यूल इट्स कैपेक्स प्लान विद इंटरनल अप्रूवल वी आर वी रिमेन कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ कॉन्टिन्यूइंग अवर ग्रोथ ट्रेजेक्ट्री वाइल एक्सटेंडिंग फुल सपोर्ट टू अवर कस्टमर सप्लायर एंड अदर वैल्यूड स्टेक होल्डर With this, we would be happy to take your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. First question is from the line of Rahul Jain from Credence Wealth. Please go ahead. Thanks for the opportunity. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, in the previous two three quarters, we have had with regards to logistic cost of raw materials going up. In the previous quarter, also we had mentioned about gross margin going down because of high cost inventory and increasing in fuel cost and also logistic cost. at the same time you had also mentioned that you will this inventory high cost inventory will be completely utilized in this particular quarter so first question with regard to margin the yes we have shown some improvement in gross margins from about <coughs> sorry uh, 43 uh, to around 45% in the current quarter quarter on quarter so how soon do we expect the gross margins to reach our 50% mark which we were doing some quarters back given that the high cost inventory must have run down that is my question number 1 sir uh, inventory we thought we com completely we have not yet consumed the total high cost inventory but we feel that by this quarter we will be completely we will be utilizing the high cost uh, inventory and uh, with this uh, uh, for, for the next quarter our uh, margin should improve Okay, so it will take another couple of quarters to reach back around 50-50, 1% gross margin. Yes, sir, 50-50, 1%. Uh, it will be very difficult to say, but we will try our maximum, whatever is possible. Sure. And sir, with regards to capex, uh, we had completed roughly about 35 crores in the first half, and the balance 35 crores to be done in the second half. So till date, how much capex is completed out of this 70 crores for the current year? We have done capex of fifty-four crore in nine months. Okay, and the balance uh, will be completed before March. Before March, sir. Sure, sir. And this can this seventy plus the earlier seventy. This is that one forty crores of brown sea capex, which we have done at the existing plant, uh, will contribute roughly about two and a half times asset turnover. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. and how much time sir it will take to ramp up this capacity to reach this full utilization to the extent of two and a half times i think it should be by end of this year that is the fi24 okay so fi24 we can have with the existing plants uh, we can surely reach about 
uh, around 1100 crores of top line, 1000 to 1100? Yeah, yeah, easily, sir. No doubt about it. And, sir, what kind of contribution we will see from the new products which we have added in the current quarter and also in last previous two quarters? Uh, till date, what is the contribution from the new products? And what is the expected contribution from new products in the next year? Contribution from new product is around 25 crore during this quarter. Mm -hmm. And we are expecting uh, around, say, 250 crore of incremental turnover during next year from new, new product uh, capacities. Sure. And sir, you had mentioned in your earlier calls that all the new products which you were trying to launch or will launch, typically they will have 50% plus gross margin. No, that is our yardstick, yard but considering this uh, inf inflationary pressure, I think the uh, gross profit range will be, say, around uh, 46 to 47%. Sure. One last question with regards to the new site. Uh, so how much capex do we expect to, uh, we had earlier in indicated to spend about 20 crores in the current year in the new site. So typically what is the amount expected to be done in this new site by year end? And you mentioned that we expect the new site to start commercial production uh, in the next year somewhere around quarter two, quarter three. So next year, what kind of contribution to sales can be uh, seen from the new site, the new Greenfield Capex? Uh, sir, actually, the new site uh, is going as per our expectation. Uh, we were expecting the meeting for the environmental clearance to happen in November, which did happen, and we got the clearance in the first go. And uh, we are now uh, starting our activities uh, at the new site. And uh, the, the capex what we have planned uh, for the next year uh, would be uh, about uh, 700 crores. And uh, we expect the first two units to be in operation uh, by, say, December, January onwards. And uh, the contribution from that side would be nominal, probably, because uh, the plant would be still under stabilization. But uh, from the next year, there is a 525 onwards, it will contribute significantly. Sure. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, I have some more questions. I'll come back in the queue. Thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rahul. Thank yeah. you. The next question is on the line of Ayush Mittal from Mittal Analytics. Please go ahead. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, First of all, congratulations on a good performance considering the uh, times that agrochem industry is facing. Thank you, sir. Hello. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, sir, two, three questions. So first, uh, we are seeing a very uh, uh, big demand supply mismatch in the agrochem industry, and many of the players are facing very uh, weak demand or inventory correction, or they are facing pressure on margins. So, on the demand side, are we facing issues or are we broadly in line with uh, what we were planning to uh, uh, to grow? And uh, we also had some new product launches ahead for this coming quarter. So can you can you share more about this aspect? Sir, uh, demand wise, uh, we are not facing any major problems. Uh, the products what we are uh, regularly producing, we are able to sell, and the quantities are they are reasonably okay. I think if uh, we see the total uh, volume what we have done this quarter is slightly more than what we did uh, in the previous quarter. Uh, previous quarter we did a technical uh, turnover of about 3,900 crores. Tons. Uh, sorry, crores, tons. And uh, this uh, quarter we are doing uh, more than 4,000 tons. So demand wise it is okay. But the pressure, uh, cost pressure is only because the energy cost has increased a lot. Uh, as uh, informed last uh, in the last uh, conference call as well as in uh, TV interview, our fuel cost has gone up significantly, especially the rice husk, which we are to buy around uh, 300 rupees a quintal. Now the price has increased almost to 1100, and now it is ranging around uh, around 850 to 900. So the, the the cost of energy has gone up. 
and uh, because of the lot of uncertainties in the initial period, we had imported lot of uh, inventories uh, to avoid any risk of uh, production stock. So that inventories we are still carrying, and this we hope that by this quarter we will be able to we will be able to consume uh, the high cost inventories. Okay. Great. So, and sir, uh, there was some new herbicide that we were planning to launch in Q4, and we had done a lot of stocking for that. I think uh, the inventory buildup was due to that. Uh, yeah, any that, update that, on that? That is there, sir. That, that herbicide uh, major usage comes in the first quarter uh, of uh, every year because normally in April, May, June the demand would be high on this. So there also we are uh, storing uh, the product now, and the major sales will happen uh, in the next quarter. In Q1 or Q4? Q4. Only Q1. Q, in, Q1. In the last of Q4 and Q1. Major major okay. sales would be in Q1. Okay. 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 Yeah. But we have to build this stock because uh, that is a very short time uh, sale. So that is why we have to build the stock. Okay. Okay, sir. The, the new expansion that we are doing at Harimpur, we have just got the EC and you are saying that within a year we will be able to build two units. Uh, yeah. That's a very short time, but so have we only been doing some construction activity or how will it happen? Because uh, usually it takes two years for a plant to get up and running and then it takes time for approval. So how will we be managing so fast? Sir, actually what happened that after getting the environmental clearance, Simultaneously, we are also working on other clearances because we require a lot of uh, clearances from the government. So I will just uh, um, explain you after environmental clearance, we also got the groundwater abstraction clearance also. We got the permission from them. Hmm. And the fire NOC we have already received. Then we have made arrangement with our uh, this uh, landfill system company, Ramki. Uh, we are already in the agreement with them. And then we already applied for the consent to establish to the Pollution Control Board. So these activities are parallelly going on. And uh, we are planning initial stages, a uh, few intermediates. So for intermediates, we don't have uh, many regulatory uh, requirements in terms of registration at the CBA, SB, what is that, the Central Insecticide Board, etc. So we have uh, already shortlisted a few uh, intermediates that we will be starting first. So we feel that we should be able to produce uh, uh, something uh, by the third quarter of the fourth quarter of this year. And this is also a must for us because uh, of uh, the tax benefit rule that the government has given that uh, the plant has to be commissioned in FI24. Only then we can avail the concessional income tax of 15%. Yes, sir. That will also push us to act a little faster. Yeah. Okay, that's great to hear, sir. And sir, another 4,000 ton we were planning to add at Sandila. Any update on that? Yes, yeah, that is going on, sir. That is going on. Uh, 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 as on today, we as we informed last month, we have already added one more herbicide with a very good export potential, but the capacity of that plant would be about 300 tons, and then a uh, few into more intermediates are under construction, which we will be commissioning uh, maybe in March or maximum by April. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'll get back in the queue. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ayushi. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Nagesh Jain from NB Investments. Please go ahead. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, sir, evening. during the quarter, there is an increase in the export compared to the domestic sale. Uh, see, first question is, what are the reasons for this? There has been very good demand for our uh, herbicide as well as uh, recently launched herbicides. Okay. Is it specifically for herbicide only this increase in uh, sales has happened? Yes, yes, yes. Our existing herbicide has, uh, we have got good export order. Uh -huh. And few quarters back, we have launched one more herbicide that uh, exclusively for export that has got very good export demand. Okay. 
Sir, uh, you know, just a continuation of this. See, we have our top three products where we have more than 20% market share, where our competitors are all these MNCs. And these yeah. MNCs must be having their manufacturing plant at either China or maybe some place in Europe. And if it is in Europe, with the current increase in power cost, so any information you have got, whether they have reduced their production and they're diverting their requirement to India or something like that? No, sir. Our uh, major competitors, yeah. ah. uh, they are not based in Europe. Uh, the major competitor is based in Israel okay. and uh, they have uh, their products going on. But mm -hmm. our, uh, because we have long term arrangements with our customers, uh -huh. we are uh, able to continue supply the required uh, quantities to them. And um, from China, we have not so much of competition at all because uh, the manufacturers of these compounds in China are mm -hmm. relatively very small. Acha. So, so or, or I'll ask you in another way, so because, you know, is there any increasing demand for our these three products from Europe markets? Europe market increase uh, is not uh, in one product, yes, because that product we have launched only last year. Mm. So we are getting good demand for that one herbicide uh, okay. from Europe itself, uh, Europe and the adjoining uh, countries uh, from Europe, from the main European Union. Oh. And the adjoining, uh, adjoining countries, we are getting uh, good demand for that. And so for the other the... side, we are getting good demand uh, 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 in uh, other countries also. Okay, okay. Sir, now since our IPO, uh, how many products we have launched till date, sir? Sir, uh, at the time of IPO, we had promised eight molecules to be in pipeline. Correct. And out of these eight, we have already launched seven, pipe, uh, seven products. The, okay. With this new herbicide, what we have commissioned this month, ah. uh, including that, it will be this will be the seventh molecule what we have launched. This includes uh, six um, active ingredients and one uh, intermediate. Okay, and so one that more, means uh, is already under construction, which we are planning to launch soon. Sir, okay. Now you said out of the seven launch, six are uh, technicals and only one is intermediate, right? Intermediate, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, now before it this. Still largely being imported, so it, it will be an import substitute uh, in line with our government's uh, initiative of Atmanirma Bharat, no? So, okay. from that point of view, now we are able to manufacture in India. Okay. Sir, uh, before this IPO, I think we had only six products, no? Five fungicides and one herbicide. Is that is correct? We have uh, seven to eight products. We were having two uh, herbicide and uh, six fungicides. Six fungicides. So total eight products, no? Eight products. Okay. Now, why you was asking that question is, of these eight products that you had before the IPO, are we completely backward integrated in those products? In those products, sir, uh, majoritily we are backward integrated except some critical uh, uh, general purpose uh, intermediates, no, which are available in the market that ah. we were sourcing uh, from the market. Uh, okay. But otherwise, uh, we are uh, backward integrated. Okay. Because one or two intermediates we have to import uh, because they are readily available uh, in the market. Those we ah. were uh, buying from the local market as well as importing. But mm. otherwise, majoritarily it was uh, backward integrated and uh, Indian sources. Acha. Uh, now the, the new six uh, technicals that you have launched, so there we are not uh, backward integrated, right? Now, there also we are backward integrated, sir. As I told you that recently we started an intermediate which was being imported, uh, majoritarily was being imported. So ah. that we started manufacturing, so we are getting backward integration in that. And okay. uh, other two molecules also we are getting backward integration. Thank you, Mr. Jain. Would the question is because our 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 strategy is, is is that way only, sir. That we we would like to be a backward integrated uh, company. We do very few products with the uh, minus one uh, strategy. Thank you, Mr. Nagesh Jain. Request you to join the queue for any follow-ups. 
Thank you. Before we move to our next question, I'd like to remind our participants to limit your question to two per participant. If time permits, you may join the queue for any follow-ups. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ankit Gupta from Bamboo Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks for the opportunity and uh, congratulations for... And can you be a bit loud, please? Yeah, uh, congratulations for a decent set of numbers in tough times. Sir, uh, if you can talk about, you know, how has been the realization trend over the past three, four years for some of our the key products like Kaptan, Polpet, and Sam Oxon, let's say, you know, what were their prices uh, uh, pre-COVID and how are they currently, how much did they move up in the past one year and how has been the price, price trend uh, over the past uh, six, nine months? Earlier, the price was very, very stable. During, uh, as compared to last uh, quarter of this uh, financial year 22, the price has increased by around 8% now for the molecule. Earlier prices were very stable before COVID. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so there, there wasn't any significant increase in prices post COVID, let's say in FY 21, 22. Yeah, yeah. And now, uh, uh, in fact, in this uh, six nine months, they have increased by eight percent. Yeah, yeah, but uh, correspondingly, raw material cost has also been increased by just uh, similar amount. More, slightly more. Slightly more. Sure, sure. Uh, and sir, uh, you know, one uh, figure that you mentioned that uh, from the new launch, uh, newly launched seven molecules, they are expected. Uh, we are expecting to generate uh, two fifty crore of revenue in FY twenty four. Is that right? Yes, yes. And how much are these molecules contributing to our sales in nine months? Nine months they have contributed uh, uh, around 12%. 12, 12 sure, sure. And, uh, and how, ma how many molecules are we planning to launch in FI24? FI24 sir, we would be launching at least uh, uh, Four products. Okay, and this will all this will this product will also be targeting export markets largely. Uh, these four products will be uh, at least uh, two in the in our subsidiary, mm -hmm. and two products in our uh, existing plant. Sure, sure, sure. And sir, uh, the new greenfield KPEG that we are. Uh, that for which we have got the EC approval, will that be largely focusing on the existing set of molecules or will be introducing the new molecules which will be contributing to the revenue from the new plant? So we would be aiming at new molecules, sir. Existing molecules, we have got reasonable capacity here and uh, we would be there uh, aiming for the new molecules and the new chemistries. Uh, with uh, bromine and fluorine and uh, other uh, process chemistries. Sure, sure. And sir, uh, Sandila plant uh, post this 70 crore capex. Uh, will will uh, will there be any uh, space left for further capex, or you know, like we can just reach around 1100 crore kind of revenue from the Sandila plant, and now the growth will largely come from the new uh, greenfield capex that we are doing. Well, with this expansion, the Sandila plant will be uh, almost full. Maybe very small space for one or two small products, but not very much for any big uh, capacity addition there. And uh, the further expansion will come largely from our new site. Thank you, Mr. Ankit Gupta. I request you to join the queue for any follow-ups as we have several participants waiting for their turn. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Chintan Mehta from Prudent Broking. Please go ahead. Thank you so much, sir, for opportunity. Uh, sir, my question is how much top Chintan three product contribute? Be a bit loud. Uh, your audio is very low. Sure, sir. Uh, sir, how much did top three product contributed in nine months FY23 ended, sir? They contributed around 45% of our turnover. Okay, sir. And is it possible to give a breakup of process or uh, thyrocarbamate uh, breakup? I mean, how much percentage in total revenue? They say fungicide, the top two uh, 
uh, out of top three, two are fungicides. Fungicide turnover will be around 25%, and uh, herbicide top uh, turnover will be 20%. Okay, and these are all nine months ended, correct, sir? Nine months ended. Uh, yes, sure, sir. And sir, what is the volume and value growth for this quarter compared to last year, same quarter? Volume. Volume has been increased by 8% and price has increased by 8%. Total increase is 16%. Okay. And sir, utilization at the end of 9 months, sir? For both technical yeah. and formulation? For technical, it, it has been uh, around 72%, but formulation has been lit, quite low, uh, maybe around 40% since there, has, uh, there is a lot of channel inventory in the in local market. So, uh, and they, it was off season also, so utilization formulation was low. Okay, and sir, since the IPO, we have launched a healthy seven molecules. Have any rough number that how much the market size in terms of molecule we have increased? Market size, uh, one or two are very large uh, 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 molecule. They have very good market size in India, but to quantify, say they they may be having uh, market size of around thousand crore. Uh, all seven molecules, all seven new molecules. Uh, all seven. Uh, okay, and sir, the new product we are targeting, uh, any idea about demand or the realization prices, uh, they are stable or around? For this uh, last product we have launched or all the seven new molecules we are talking? Thank you, Mr. Mehta, requested to join the queue for any follow-ups. The next question is on the line of Santhal Kumar from Joint Capital Services. Please go ahead. Uh, good evening, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, my f first question on uh, revenue mix, sir. Actually, you know, in your open remark, you said like the uh, export revenue share increased to 68 percentage from 49 percentage on sequential basis. Uh, if I do math on this, no, I could find that uh, there is a 45 percentage drop in domestic sales and 20 percentage increase in exports uh, revenue. Uh, even you now you have com commented like you know, there was a strong demand for both existing and uh, newly launched products. I couldn't understand so you know, what is the reason for this 45 percentage domestic revenue, sir? Sir, actually in domestic revenue what happens, sir, this is a slightly lean season. What happens now, the major consumption uh, is in, in Q2. So Q1 and Q2 sales are little higher and uh, Q3 slightly it is lax, number one. So that is why the local sales are slightly less. We, have, we are building the inventories for the local sale which we would be uh, selling uh, during the last period of this quarter as well as next quarter. And uh, my second question, sir, you, know, you just heard you commented like uh, revenue from uh, newly pro launched products is 25 crores. Okay, so what I have uh, done is, you know, I, if I reduce the 25 crores from the revenue of uh, 217 crores uh, reported in this Q3 FY23, I can find that there is uh, only 1% growth in the overall revenue. I just want to know whether uh, do we see any slowdown in, for the uh, existing product demand? No, even in our uh, Q3 financial year 22 sales, mm -hmm. uh, our new products have contributed 10 to 12 crore sales also. Since we have launched some product in Q2 financial year 22 only, there was contribution from new products in last uh, Q3 of financial year 22 also. Okay. okay. So what is the what is the contribution of newly launched product in uh, Q2 Q3 FI 22, sir? It was around 12 to 13 crore last year. Oh, okay, now sir. it has increased to 25 crore. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. That's it from my side. Thank you. The next question is on the line of Pavan Chera from Enam Holdings. Please go ahead. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. You mentioned uh, volume growth of 8% and price growth of 8%. Was this for first nine months of FI23? 
No, it was uh, for this quarter as compared to Q3 of financial year 22. So this was for quarter. Okay. And in absolute term, what was the volume number? You said somewhere 3,900 tons. Yeah, yeah, 3,900 tons is sale. Production is slightly higher. Okay. How much is the production, sir, if you have the number? It will be around, I think, 4,100 tons. 4,100 tons. Okay. And uh, do you have nine months numbers, sir, for uh, production and sales volume and how much was the growth? Sir, uh, I will, uh, right now, we do not have this nine months production number. Okay. We can, send you we, can, we can send you by mail. Sure, sure. And, uh, and you said sir, new products in first nine months contributed 12% of sales. Yes, yes. Which would be roughly 80 odd crores. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And Hamirpur plant, sir, uh, what was the capex number you have spent till date? We have spent around uh, 10 crore. It's Habir Pro project and we are further exp uh, expecting to spend 7 to 10 crore in next uh, uh, two months. Okay. And next year, how much will you spend? So next year by Q4, you will start this plant? Yes, yeah. at least at least one or two, two products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will start in Q4 financial year 24. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Rahul Jain from Credence Wealth. Please go ahead. Thanks for the follow-up. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, sir, uh, you mentioned the, uh, the new products and also the new products to be added, which is number of products next year would be four. And this will come at the new site. No, not all four will not come at the new site. Two will come at least at the new site and two will be in the existing site. Existing our capex is still continuing, no sir. So that capex will result in uh, two more products. Sure. And sir, so with regard to eight, we would be giving nine products from our existing site. Okay. Okay. And sir, with regards to customer additions, how have been the customer additions? What are we, you know, how are we trying to add the customers? Any new customer added already, or you are quite confident that those will come in, specifically the large MNCs across the globe yeah we are already working in that direction sir and we are adding uh, new customers we are having discussions with a uh, few u.s companies and a uh, few australian companies so that discussion is already going on and uh, for the new products we have some arrangement with the new customers even with japanese and how about the registration of these products in the various territories uh, we, we are already working on those uh, lines. They, wherever they require registration, uh, we are giving them all the data required uh, to register. And where we need to register, we are submitting, we are getting the data generated because we require five batch uh, reports, we require physical chemical properties, we require uh, toxicological studies. So their studies are already going on and we would be submitting these for the registration in various countries. And sir, with regards to this 1100 crores of top line from the existing site next year, uh, two parts to it. One, given that most of it will come from the existing, the old products as well as the new products which we have launched in last six months to nine months post IPO. And yes. uh, typically what we understand from your interactions is most of these products have been doing well and are expected to do well. And yes. the CAPEX is also almost completed. Uh, yes. with regards to the existing plant. So, as we speak today, uh, given that the raw metal costs are coming down, given that the logistic costs are now much more favorable for you, uh, the fuel cost should come down gradually. Do we see any risk to first the top line which we are projecting? What can that risk be, number one? And number two, uh, what kind of EBITDA margins do you uh, visualize for this uh, kind of top line, which is around 1,000 to 1,100 crores. Yeah, EBITDA margin we are projecting is uh, next year is between 23 to 25 percent, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, 
since our product had very stable pricing environment uh, presence of china is very less so we do not see much downward risk due to price reduction but uh, even our customer uh, our buyer they are not able to increase price very much so so a stable kind of environment we are projecting for, as far as pricing is concerned thank you Rahul requests to join the queue for any follow ups also participants are requested to limit their question to two per participants only we have the next question from the line of Sharad Ratnakumar from next year. consulting please go ahead this year hello yes thanks for taking my question sir uh, thank you good evening uh, sir my question was regarding the hamirpur capacity so uh, if i understand correctly we are predicting uh, projecting 100 crores in capex over the next 4 years and from yes, the environment report uh, what i see is technicals is around 3600 tons per annum and formulations around 29200 tons per annum now are we looking to commission this entire facility in this 4 year period uh, sir this is the clearance what we have got from the ministry of environment Uh, we 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 what we have applied for slightly higher capacity so that we don't have to go to them again and again. That is number one. And we would be as told earlier we would be building that in blocks. And we have we can go up to this capacity. That is the reasonable uh, estimate. But uh, uh, we will see over the years how we um, add the capacities. Uh, we 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 are projecting about 100 crores uh, per annum for the coming uh, four years, and uh, with this capex, whatever capacity we can build up, we will try to build as much as possible. But to be on the safer side, we have taken a safe uh, capacity uh, permission from Ministry of Environment. Understood, sir. Uh, so with this 100 crores over the next four years, uh, each year. Uh, yeah. what is the kind of capacity that we are looking to implement uh, it is difficult to tell because what happens sir some products now they are slightly higher in value so the capacity would be slightly limited and some products are uh, slightly low value products so there the capacity could be little higher so exactly telling the capacity what would be building is slightly difficult at this stage maybe down one year one and a half year we will be more definite on this understood sir we'll wait for it thank you so much i'll fall back in thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you the next question is on the line of pratik singhania from sage one investments please go ahead Uh, sir, uh, I want to know the realization for Folpet and Cartep for FY twenty one and twenty two, and what is the price as of uh, now uh, for nine months as well as the Q three. So this is uh, slightly confidential, sir. It will be difficult for me to tell the exact uh, number on this. and cartep we are not producing we are we are producing uh, we are not producing cartep we are producing folpet but not cartep okay but uh, sir has there been a substantial drop in the realization because uh, is that affecting our gro- overall gross margin no there is no reduction in the realization of uh, even folpet that much i can tell okay so the realization stays uh, status quo as compared yeah. to yeah, 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 yeah that stays yes sir and sir with respect to your uh, uh, like uh, large players like upl and koteva the commentaries have been very positive so why are we not be to pass on the cost if uh, the demand from uh, those guys are uh, much strong sir actually the ultimate usage price in the market no that doesn't get absorbed probably that is why we are not able to pass on the complete cost increase Though we have an arrangements uh, with the companies and uh, the raw material cost, uh, we are able to pass on. But the main overall manufacturing cost and the energy cost, no, that becomes difficult for us to pass on. That is why there is some effect on us. Okay, 
and sir with respect to our uh, current uh, location like since uh, coal availability is a challenge uh, challenging situation for us then why not uh, shift uh, or like set up new plant at a much better location uh, which are much more friendly and uh, access to coals are much easier sir uh, for your information uh, i would like to say that we are not using coal at all even in our existing plant we are using much greener uh, energy source that is rice husk and which is slightly cheaper than uh, coal and the rice husk is available uh, plenty in this area because up is producing light of rice so rice husk is available in the plenty though the price of even the rice has increased over the period now but mm -hmm. the availability is there and it is it is a green initiative by the company not to use any fossil fuel so we don't use any coal at all okay so 100% of our requirement is met through her rice husk uh, in terms of power generation not power generation sir it is for the other energy requirement for example steam generation hot water generation hot oil generation all those things so power of course we buy from uh, the electricity board sure Okay, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is on the line of Yogan Cheswani from Mithal Analytics. Please go ahead. Cheswani. Hi, sir. Uh, thanks for the opportunity and congratulations on a decent set of results. Uh, most of the questions have been answered, sir. Just a couple of follow-ups I'll have. So, uh, inventory, you mentioned that the high cost inventory will go down in coming quarters in Q4 and specifically in Q1. So, but could you just share the uh, December inventory closing value? What was it, sir? You asked the in absolute number, uh, it is uh, around the same uh, as in Q2 um, current uh, uh, September. It, it was around 225 crore. Okay, and this we expect to uh, bring down to what level, sir, by year end? I mean, uh, the reason I'm asking is because uh, our inventory days overall has gone up, not just the absolute amount. So, uh, overall, what is the trajectory that we want to bring down it to by year end? By year end, it will be reduced by uh, at least 25 crore. Okay. So major changes should come in uh, next financial year then, the normalization basically. Yeah, yeah. No, the normalization to earlier uh, uh, inventory level will not be there. Since now we are producing some products which has a, a very seasonal demand. Earlier our products were, they were being sold say 10 to 11 months in entire year. but. A few of our new products, they are specifically for Kharif season. They are big molecules, so we have to build up a lot of inventory in anticipation of next season. So inventory level will not go down to earlier levels, but it will rationalize from here. Okay. So now going forward with these new products, our Q4 and Q1 will be uh, uh, the quarters with heavier sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DG quarter has heavier sales. Okay, got it. And uh, the new product that we mentioned, uh, the contribution from which we are expecting 300 tons. Uh, so, what is the kind of price point for this this product, if you could share? The prices vary from say 600 rupees uh, per kg to. I mean, air product. He is asking. Aja, new, new product. New. Are you asking for the new herbicide, what we have introduced, or our overall product range? Sir, one product you mentioned, na, ki, uh, we have launched for 300 tons. Ka, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, uh, that is a slightly high value product, sir, ranging from about almost about uh, 3,500 rupees a kg. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, due to time constraints, that would be our last question for today. Thank you. Sir. I now Thank have you. the conference so over to Mr. D.K. Jain, CEO, for closing comments. Thank you, and over to you, sir. We thank you very much for taking out your time uh, to attend this call, and uh, wish you all the best and have a good evening. Thank you very much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Dollar Capital, that concludes this conference. Thank you all for joining us. Any minute. Goodbye.